Students for Comp 3077 Advanced Excel for Business. This is your professor Mike Sloan coming at you right now to do my personal introduction. This is something I do for every course I teach at Fanshawe College, and my Excel course is no exception because so many of my personal experiences have involved Excel at some level. So like I do with every one of my videos in the online version of this course, I always like to start with a nice little PowerPoint slide like that and then a quick little breakdown of what is in the video and then I lead into the content. So you are about to see me live on camera introduce myself personally to you my students. If you're not in my online section uh, you are still more than free to watch this especially if you missed week one because this is something that I always do in week one. And yes that was the, uh, me that you heard singing there in that song. I was in a fairly well-known band for many years. Um, is something that I actually used Excel in. It's a long story, but I, I get into it in the personal video. But uh, pretty decent rock band, and we still play once a, once a while in the summer. But this is part of what I do in, in week number one for the first 15, 20 minutes or so is I let you guys know who I am. And I'm just uh, warning you right now that this video is, in fact, uh, what did we say, about 15 minutes long. Apparently, I'm that cool. So, as I indicated there, it, it is optional. Uh, you don't have to watch this. I'm not going to cover any course stuff. But uh, if you decide you want to get to know your professor a little bit, which might be not uh, might not be too bad of an idea if you're in my online section, because you wouldn't otherwise even get to meet me or see me until the first test. You might as well get to see what I look like and who I am. Uh, it's about 15 minutes. I tell you all about myself, and we are going to go live on camera right now. Hello students for Comp 3077, Advanced Excel for Business at Fanshawe College and the Lawrence Kinlan School of Business. I am your professor for this course, Mr. Mike Sloan. You may refer to me as Mike in any correspondence. Best way to contact me, which is already indicated in FOL, is FOL email. You may also call me in the office if it's an emergency and you have to get in touch with me uh, right away and you can't get to a computer. Um, all that stuff is in Fanshawe Online. The purpose of this quick video is to introduce myself as your professor for this, for this course which focuses on uh, specific aspects of Excel that will make you an ideal Excel user in almost any business situation. There are so many, many different things you can do with Excel, uh, but this course is set up for business students and that's why I like to introduce myself at the beginning of the course and talk about my professional background and why it lends itself to my being a good teacher for this course. Uh, so as you know, my name is Mike Sloan. You may call me Mike. I'm a professor for this course. We'll get into all the nitty-gritty of the course in the next video, which introduces uh, the layout of the course, the week-by-week -week detail, stuff like that. The purpose of this one is uh, not for me to just talk about myself and how awesome I am. I, I do give you a little bit of personal information so you know I'm, I'm more than just a professor. So you understand everybody has things going on in their lives. Sometimes I won't email you, you know, within... 10 minutes right back. I usually do, but uh, I just like my students to know a bit about who I am, and hopefully, even though I don't get to see you guys much if you're in my online section, I'll get to know you guys a little bit over the course of the term as well. Uh, so I do these professor introductions, um, typically in video format as well for all of my courses. This one is specifically for the Excel course. Uh, get, regardless of that, I'm still going to give you a little personal information. I'm a full-time marketing professor here at Fanshawe College. I have been here now for, well, I don't know when you're going to be watching this video. 
anywhere from eight to ten years I've been here at Fanshawe College. I don't want to give you too much information. You might figure out how old I am. Um, I look like one of the younger professors, that's for sure. And the very first course I taught when I came here was this course in Excel. It's evolved a ton since I, I first taught it. And I really think in its current format it works really well. And we'll get into that in the course introductory video. Um, the reason I feel I'm ideal to be teaching you this particular material is because the majority of experiences I had prior to coming to Fanshawe College and starting to teach uh, involved my use of Excel on some level. Uh, so let's go back uh, to the beginning. Uh, it was a cold February night. No, I'm not going to talk about my birthday. Um, I'm from the States. I grew up just outside of Detroit, Michigan in one of the burbs there. I was about two minutes from the city border. It was an interesting place to grow up. Uh, I did enjoy my childhood, but I never really ended up living in, around Detroit after I graduated from high school. I uh, went to high school in the Detroit area, got out of high school, went straight to Michigan State, ended up graduating from Michigan State with two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts in Business Marketing and a Bachelor of Science in Natural Resource uh, Management for Park Recreation and Tourism Resources. Uh, those are my diplomas right behind me there. I always like to fill my videos with my diplomas behind me. It's, yeah, Guys, it's just a piece of paper, okay? That's why I'm bringing this up. I want you, especially in a course like this, to understand. I, I've been through a lot of school. I did two degrees there at Michigan State. I always wanted to be a teacher through, through a lot of my experiences as a younger professional, even since high school. And I just finally, after trying a few things, I decided it was time for me to go back to Teachers College. I decided not to go in the States. I went to Western in London, which is how I sort of got connected at Fanshawe. And then I just never went home. And that's... That was um, back uh, in the earlier part of the millennium, and I've been working here ever since. So that's my other degree, kind of in the upper window there from Western. So I do have uh, three degrees, uh, a BS, <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Arts, and a Bachelor of Education. Um, with these degrees, uh, I'm qualified to teach okay, easily, but that's not what makes me a good teacher for a course like this or most of the other courses I teach, and this is why I think you're so lucky to be at Fanshawe. The reason a lot of us have been hired here is because we have specific life experiences and business experiences that, that make us better teachers within the field with recent um, knowledge and, and recent field work, with hands-on experience that we've done things right out there. I'm, I'm still working in real estate as of today. This is something I've picked up since I've been at Fanshawe College, and wow, I mean, the amount that I use Excel in real estate to put together you know, different types of uh, spreadsheets that show different homeowners what's been selling in their area, how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms. You can use a data sheet to filter that stuff. It's, it's really cool. And it's, you think Excel, it's like, oh, it's just a spreadsheet program. How fun is this course going to be for 14 weeks of spreadsheets? You wouldn't believe the stuff you can do with it. Um, so kind of going back in a circle here, I, I told you where I grew up. I, I came from the States to Canada. Oftentimes you see it the other way around, but teaching post-secondary, it turns out this is one of those few jobs where you can actually do better in Canada, and I got a few courses under my belt at Fanshawe and really liked it and just never left. Uh, I did do most of my work in the States before that, after I graduated, which was close to the millennium. Um, high school, Michigan State, graduated. I started off working for a company called WorldCom. Uh, didn't turn out so great. It's it, All that... Crazy stuff happened with WorldCom after I left there. But I was there for a couple of years or so, and while I was there, a lot of the work that I did and the presentations I put together for potential clients, like here's how much money you're spending now and here's how much you're going to be spending. It was a telecom company. I was working with big businesses. I did in Microsoft Excel. And prior to that, I'd used it a little bit at Michigan State. I'd done a lot of field work in my science degree, and I used Excel to tabulate data. I thought it was kind of boring and stuff. It was when I started working at WorldCom, I started using it to actually put together sales proposals in Excel with just a cover page that I'd done at Word. It, it worked awesome. It was really cool. And it, you can make interactive tables and the charts and graphs, and I'd print them in color. And we'll get into all that stuff this term. And, and that's where I really started using Excel heavily. After I left WorldCom, I actually started my own business, used Excel a ton there. I ran a wakeboard shop and an e-commerce website selling water sports equipment. It was pretty interesting. I uh, went into business with my best friend, so it didn't last too long, and we're still friends, luckily, but uh, used Excel a ton there as well. And from there, through those experiences, ever since grade 8, I had this teacher named Miss Miller. She was one of the, 
the seven finalists uh, to get, or ten finalists, sorry, to get on the space shuttle back in the early 80s. She didn't make it, which is probably a good thing, because that was the year the space shuttle blew up when they had a teacher on it. It was really sad. Not a, not a fun day, but um, she was quite a teacher. Very, very cool. And I hated school right up until I met her. So, like, I wanted to be a teacher when she made me like school. Same thing happened in high school, even at Michigan State. I got really into a couple courses, and I was, I was a TA, teaching assistant. And I knew I loved teaching. I wanted to be a teacher. At WorldCom, it was my favorite thing when I became a manager to take people out in the field and teach them, teach them the ropes, show them the ropes, teach them to do what I did. Even at the wakeboard shop, my favorite thing was teaching kiteboarding lessons. And we were really heavily into kiteboarding, right, when it hit the market. Um, but I just, it took a lot of long hours and crazy jobs for me to finally suck it up and say, you know what, because I was holding off because I didn't think teachers made enough money and I travel a lot and I'd like to go kiteboarding and surfing and here all over the world. It's like, oh. Then I took a look at it and I'm like, well, after running my business there and barely breaking even, I'd probably be doing just fine as a teacher. So I finally went back to school and became a teacher after the wakeboard shop. That's when I went to Western and got my Bachelor of Ed and straight out of there, I went to Fanshawe and started working part-time and eventually got full-time. Uh, so that's how I ended up here. But as you can tell, through all those experiences, I was using Excel over and over and over again. Even all along the way, while I was playing in this rock band and we did a bunch of touring, all of our merchandise sales I kept track of in Excel. I, I knew exactly what we had, how much of it we had, what we'd sold in each town. It was really neat. So that's why probably it was the obvious choice when I first came to Fanshawe and said, I got my Bachelor of Ed, I don't like the public sector much, and I'd like to teach post-secondary. They got me into some courses, and Excel was the first one. And I've, I've been loving it ever since. So, I mean, there are days when I don't think Excel is like the funnest thing ever. It's, it's funnest. Is that a word? I don't know. Um... But it is one of my favorite courses to teach here. It lends itself very well to the online version, which if you're watching this video, most of you are in my online class. It just, it works awesome. So the lectures that you get would, would be the same as the lectures in the classroom, but they're screen captures and you can follow through with the software and do the stuff you need to do. So as you can tell, uh, comparatively, um, to, to other professors in the program, and we have fantastic professors here in the Lawrence Kinlan School. I'm probably one of those guys, though, that that's a little more up on my IT skills. So when, when you're going through the online version of the course, if you need help with something, you need to troubleshoot something, I'm always going to be there for you. I email you back quickly from FOL. I'm that type of professor. I wasn't where you guys are right now too long ago. I even had an online course at Michigan State. It was based on, uh, it was delivered via VHS cassettes, but you know, it was still an online course. It was kind of cool. Um, so I'm taking it to the next level. Uh, professors have been doing this for years with courses on YouTube. I'm just trying to make it as accessible as I can for you guys. And as I said at the very beginning, I do these professional, uh, personal professor introductions to make sure that you guys know that I'm still a real person because you're not going to get to see me much except for the two test dates. I mean, you're going to get to see me in these couple introduction videos and that's pretty much it if you're in my online course, unless you choose to come to the help lab rooms that I'm going to make available for you, and you'll get emails about that. Um, so yeah, um, other quick things I can throw in at the end here. Obviously, you know now uh, who I am. Mike Sloan, your professor for Comp3077. Uh, you know, I prefer to be called Mike. You know that I've done a lot of things in my life that qualify me uh, very well to teach this course in Advanced Excel for Business. Uh, also, love the kiteboard still. I picked that up when we started the board shop, and I'm totally obsessed. So I get away whenever I can. Um, I bring my wife with me. She loves the beach. We have a young daughter. We're going to have another one, boy or girl, we're not sure yet, pretty soon. Depends on when you're watching this video. We may have already had it. I might have three kids by now. Who knows? Uh, and I love my family. Uh, probably a little more than kiteboarding, but I do love kiteboarding a lot. Um, hopefully she doesn't watch this. It's, well, that's still, that's a nice thing. Uh, dogs, cats, you know, the whole nine yards. And I live in Grand Bend. I had immigrated from the U.S. right around the time when I got full-time uh, full work at Fanshawe College. And the reason I gravitated so much toward Grand Bend is because my father has owned a place up here since the late 70s. And that's where I ended up staying when I went back to school. And it's also where I ran the wakeboard shop. We were doing this cross-border thing with the e-commerce site so we could service both sides of the border. And my friend was Canadian. It was, it was crazy, you know. It, it's just, it's... It's been interesting, and I, I finally am really happy to be settled into a job that I really enjoy here at Fanshawe, and I do a bit of real estate on the side, and that's it. I'm not 
running around anymore selling water sports equipment. I just love to do it. And I did live in London for a bit when I started working at Fanshawe. Ended up back in Grand Bend when I met my wife and we got engaged. Um, pretty close to where my family, my dad's family place is, but it's still, we got our own house up here. And, you know, I might run Indian Grand Bend, you never know. Um, I still get back to the States all the time. No, I will not uh, accept shipments for my students at my parents' house in the States. Don't ask. Um, yeah, and I love my job here at Fanshawe. Oh, and I also love music. I was in a rock band for years, as I mentioned, but I'm still passionate about music. There's a chance I might be playing acoustic at the London Music Club or something here and there, and I might mention it to you guys. Uh, so just know that I don't work at Fanshawe to promote my band. Students accused me of that back in the, back in the early years because I used to tell them we were playing, but it's, it's never been like that. I, I, I like my students. My students come first. If they're interested in coming to see me play or sing songs, that's great. Uh, Come out and check it out. I'll let you guys know if I'm playing. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Now you got a whole, you got the whole big picture of who your professor is, which is nice because in this online version, you're not going to see me much. So at least you know who I am. Uh, I'm pretty laid back when it comes to, uh, you know, things like you need a little bit of extra time to get something done. You, you just got to let me know ahead of time, okay? When it comes to tests, though, I need legitimate advance notice. I need it in an email. I need it documentable. And I need to know that you're not going to make it on time. I'll talk about this in the course intro. Uh, but that's it for me. That's Mike Sloan. Uh, I've probably missed a bunch of things. You could probably Google me and see me kiteboarding or playing music or something on the web. Uh, I don't know how much kiting's out there, but there's a bit. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to meeting you guys at the first test. If I don't meet any of you sooner or whenever, you know, I see you. If you're in the online version. If you're watching this video just because you missed week one, uh, and you're in uh, a, a live classroom version of my course, then this is all I did in the classroom. About the first 20 minutes was talk about myself, not because, uh, you know, I'm all into talking about myself, because as I told you guys, I'd like you to know who your teacher is. So thanks for watching, and I will see you either online or in the classroom.